Hello and welcome back to Boxcast with extremely special guest Simon. Extremely um, special, special now. Guest. Wow. That's it. Thank Been you upgraded. very much. Uh, and uh, today we're going to be discussing, well, reviewing the fight, the post fight of uh, Canelo versus Charlo. Yeah. So, Si, what did you think? A board. Yeah. <laughs> It's a bit one-sided, shall we say. No, do you know what? Uh, Charlo really disappointed me. Do you think he was just there to, like, survive? He didn't want to get knocked out I think and say he that he didn't got, get knocked basically, out. Basically, he, he felt kind of how good Canelo was after about two rounds and went, yeah, I'll, I'll just get on my bike. Um, he, he just, it seems like he just didn't try to win. Yeah, I, I think he just tried to survive to get um, to the end of the fight without getting knocked out. So, he's, I mean, his defense is quite good, um, but Canelo just walked him down. I mean, we can't fight. take anything away from Canelo. No. Because it's so difficult to try and knock someone out or really beat someone when they're just on constantly on the back foot. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, he never, he never really opened up, so he doesn't give you any chance yeah, to counter punch. Yeah. Um, um, so I can't really... And his movement was just moving around. Yeah, I can't really judge Canelo's performance either on that, really. No. He cut the ring off well. I mean, it was just Canelo being Canelo. Yeah. He um, looked a bit better than he did in the last couple of fights. Back to... He looked like old Canelo a bit more. Yeah. Um, I think Charlo's big... I think the misnomer of two's uh, weights classes, because I think Charlo's a big, big guy, actually. Uh, yeah, but... Char- and I, I think it doesn't really make an excuse that he was... Maybe going up in weight, but I don't think it's that much of an excuse. I just don't think he had, he just didn't want to get knocked out to maintain his like thing. I get that, but don't come out saying you're going to be the first guy to knock Canelo out. You're going to meet him in the middle of the ring, do this and do that, and then just get on your bike for 12 rounds. Um, Well, yeah, that doesn't work. I mean, there's a difference (laughs) in, in like an elite fighter and a world class fighter. An elite fighter will go out on his shield. Yeah. Well, he would have at least tried to win. Yeah. I think Charlo's game plan was not to lose. If you look at... Like, try not to you yeah, know, lose I, by getting knocked out. All right, you're giving up rounds. Because even his coach, Derek James, was like, yeah, you need to do something here. You know, yeah. I think from five or six, he was like, you, you, you know, you're, you're basically nothing. losing unless I mean, you do I'd, something. I'd, I mean, I'll always come back to it, but if you look at how John Ryder went against Canelo, we went, oh, oh good, sod good, it, good. and yeah. just went... Let's have a war. If yeah. he knocks me out, he knocks me out. Yeah, yeah. I'm go. I'll go out knocked out rather than yeah. that was a fun round. Fight. Um, <laughs> but and but John Ryder's, you know, he's not a world champion. He's not a well. He's not an indis- undisputed world champion. Exactly. In, in his weight class, right, in a different weight class, but still. And but his brother's in the next weight class, yeah. so I don't think the weight is. I mean, it's a little bit of an excuse, but I don't think, in my opinion, it's not a no. really a big excuse. I mean, because he looked bigger. Yeah. I mean, all right, Canelo's got his neck and his like, you know, legs are big, but like he's quite, you know, broad. But like the Charlo didn't look like he was a small. It's not like when uh, in the way for Fulton and he looked for he looked smaller. And no. then it wasn't like like um, I've forgotten a man Spence versus Crawford, where Crawford I mean, looked a bit smaller. Yeah, this I mean, like looked like similar size. All it's guys. done for me is it's made me, you know, when Charlo announces his next fight, I'm not going to be excited about it. No. If I miss it, I'll miss it. It doesn't really bother me um, because of what he's done. Um, well, I think Crawford put it. Tweet. Did you see the tweet Crawford had? It was just basically like, nah, mate, you're not on my list anymore. <laughs> you, you, you can go. You didn't even try. <laughs> I'd still like to see. I'd like to see that fight, though. I or it Crawford won't be because wins. of Charlo. It'll be, be because of Crawford. Um, the, 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 the part of that fight that would be really interesting is if Crawford knocks him out. That would be something. I yeah. Think. And he and, uh, is a smaller guy coming up. And then if Canelo can't, and he can, that would be... I don't think Canelo Crawford happened, so... I think it's too big a difference in size. Yeah. I don't think it makes sense. Other than a li- like a last fight for both of them, a last hurrah just to earn a huge payback. I mean, but where do you look to, at... Where, I don't think it's a good fight for where me. Where does Canelo go? Well, well, he said at the end, interesting thing, I don't know if you heard, was uh, this Canelo doesn't get beat, but, you know, can beat anybody. Or doesn't get beat by anybody. I mean, there's two names. I think Vivel still beats him. I mean, there's there's two names at super middleweight, which Mm. I'd say the only ones he could look at, and that was... Benavides? Benavides and Jamie Mungia. Yeah. Both young lads, 26, 27 years of age, both undefeated. 
Um, I think he needs to give up on the Bibble thing because he's going to get beat again and then just ruins his thing again. I don't think, whatever weight he is, I don't think he beats Bibble because he he can't do what he did there to Charlo where he walks him down. Bibble. The only the thing that I've... I would, Unless I'd, it was a lower weight. I'd take from that is... Canelo always said he wanted Bivel back up at light heavyweight. But for him to come down and say, no one beat me at super middleweight, is he actually thinking, right, Bivel come down to super middleweight and try and yeah. beat me then? Uh, I mean, I don't know what Canelo's... I, th- I don't know whether Canelo's yeah, yeah. on a fight-by-fight promotion at the moment, because if he goes back to Eddie Hearn, because Eddie Hearn's obviously Bivol's promoter... Mm-hmm. Um, I know Hearn and Canelo work quite well at super middleweight but the WBC wouldn't be on the line would it because of Bivol's no, rushing um, it doesn't make much sense for Bivol to do it other than you know you, you could win all the belts he'll become undisputed at the super middleweight I mean has Bivol got any fights planned well they stopped him didn't it but then they well he's supposed to be against better Biev isn't it so yeah. I think he's trying to have like one in the middle and then well, it's Callum better Smith be a fight Callum Smith. Yeah, they're After fighting that, in, I think is it is February they're fighting, I think, I read. January, January or February. And near the end, I think, of January or beginning of February. Um, Actually, I think it's been set in January. Yeah. To January. Benavides is a good fight for Canelo, though. I think Canelo Benavides is the one that most people want to see. I want to yeah. see that. That would be cool. I think he's thicker that weight. And then... Or Jamie if, Munguia. If... if, if um, Bivel gets past better Bivel, that fight happens. I think at that point, and then Canelo's done his fights, those two that you've mentioned, Benavides and Munguia, then then maybe have his re- last like hurrah against Bivol and see if he can sort him out. Uh, whatever weight it's in. You see, here. But really, if he wants to get his rep back, he needs to fight him a light heavyweight. Jamie Munguia. Mm-hmm. Is, again, he's another Mexican. 27 years of age, six foot. 78% knockout ratio. Just beating that Sir guy, Devavenchenko. Got a pretty good record. Two Mexicans going at it. Ooh. Yeah, on a Mexican day. Mexican Independence Day. Yeah. Which is where usually, Canelo usually fights around about then, doesn't he? He usually has, and it's massive, usually. The uh, sport. Do you imagine the two Mexicans fighting? Be fantastic. Be interesting to see the sport. Was, I, don't, I mean, I don't know much about Mungia. You know? Well, uh, I didn't know until he mentioned his name. So, I mean, I've heard, I've seen his name, but I don't know much about him. Yeah, he's from T. Benavides, obviously, we know. So, the. Mm. But that would be a good fight. Um, but, we, yeah, Benavides. Benavides has got to be the next one, isn't it, really? Because he, he's the main contender in that sort of weight thing isn't it rather than Bivol I just see I would have it the other way. if he's going to do do Benavides do then whoever it is if it's Mungia the next contestant he... the thing is is if Canelo usually wants to fight some money he usually gets to fight him yeah yeah um let Bivol have his thing at like light uh, heavyweight because if he wins all of them then he could go to light heavyweight to fight him as for undisputed and if he gets past Benavides and Munguia and he's undisputed at super middleweight, and then he goes for light heavyweight for the undisputed titles. If he lose, he loses big up weight, doesn't do any, he's got nothing to lose. But if he beats Bivol, then he's got an undisputed a light heavyweight. I mean, that's a big if, because obviously <laughs> yeah. he's, Bivol's got to get past Better Beer, but I'm not sure that's that easy. Or Better Beer, fight Better Beer at the end of it, because if he beats Bivol, but... Because I mean, there might be a guy who can there. actually knock Canelo out. Well, before we go to kick scorecards, did you have it? Like, cause it was 119, 109 and 118, 109 twice. I had it as 118, 109 twice. Basically, because I was fed up of putting 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 9, 10, 8, whatever it was, to Canelo. So I gave I, him I, two I, rounds only because he had a little bit of, I gave, he actually threw some shots. I gave Charlo one round. Yeah, I think fair, the fair one was only one round. Yeah. So I think 119, um, 109 is the right. It was one one round to give him. Um, I, I, I was being generous because I thought this is just like. I mean, my prediction was the completely ninth, out there. Yeah, yeah. But that's because I was listening to Charlo's hype. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I drawn no, into six, him. Six I was like, I yes, this is what I want to hear. Um, and he literally come in, Canelo went, have a left jab. And literally Charlo went, 
No, we're no not I'm not anymore. going there this. No, <laughs> that gave plan, plan A is out the window. Literally went, nah, I, I, I'm getting on my bike. Um, plan B time. And it was like Tony Bell, you said when he, he first fought David Hay and he said the second time, I'll knock him out quicker because David Hay was in survival mode. It's easy to knock someone out when they're not in survival mode. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and I got bored. I did get bored through the fight, I'm not going to lie. Um, well, I think he only got excited when he not actually got him down. Yeah. And I thought, oh, he might get him out of here then. But I think he still, he just went more into his shell. Um, and um, and then well, look, I, to be fair, he did open. And then I get, brand. I start wondering now, does Canelo let him go to 12 rounds? Well, yeah, that was my thoughts on, is he just, now he's not ex, ex, um, extending himself. He yeah. just walking him down. If he gets an opportunity, he's going to take it. Yeah. But if he doesn't, is he letting him go there's to no point rounds? trying to go out because he was already like seven, eight rounds ahead. Uh, I and think... Basically, he'd even the round that was close by yeah. knocking him down. And realistically, I think most people would... Uh, it was about the ninth round or the sixth sixth round was the one I gave to Canelo, uh, to Charlo, and the ninth. I think the sixth one was still close. Um yeah, I mean, I think Canelo needs another massive fight. No. I think that one was a bit of a letdown. Yeah, what it was and that's why I be. think he needs it a massive bit, fight. It was a bit too easy. Um, walk. Well, like, Ben Benavides is the one, isn't it? Whether that's going to be like this or not, but from Benavides' hype and what he's saying and to him, it could be a passing of the torch. It could be Canelo going, well, no, 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 I've still got a bit of legs left. Or um, I mean, Canelo does like to trance these little up-and-comers, doesn't he? That's, his, that's his little that's thing. That's how you want to see it. Um, I, mean, I think ben- Benavides is a little bit better than the normal up and comers. I think he's I, a I handful. Him, but, but yeah, it's a fight you'd want to see. He's got a good thing chance is, is because he's got height and reach. He's going to be a mandatory. I'm sure. I'm sure he's the mandatory um, for pretty much all the belts. Um, I'm, I'm sure he's, he's the super mandatory. Isn't it? Super. Yeah. Um. I think I was looking so at like the, the I, like I say, I know there's him and there's Jamie Mungia, who are mandatories, if you like. Um, so I look at David Benavides. Benavides, Mungia. That's what I mean. It's... Okay, so WB. The well, ring d- one well, is... Well, Benavides, Benavides is fighting on the... 25th to the 11th against Demetrius Andrade. That should be a good fight. Uh, you know, he's just beat Caleb Plant's unanimous decision. David Lemieux, he knocked out. Um, he's got a, you know, he, I, I have seen him fight before. He's a, he is well, he's a handful. He's world champion. He's WBC, six, isn't it? With their he's a big one. lad as well, you know. Benavides? Yeah, 6'2". Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a big, he's, you know, he's he's like Callum Smith. He's a big lump, big, tall, rangy fighter. Well, I think he's better than Callum Smith. As a Ooh, fighter. Ooh, what a bold claim. Talking about my brother there from yeah, across no. the Mersey. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, Callum. I love you, really. <laughs> yeah, come on the show. Anytime. Um, well, I've met Callum Smith. Yeah. So... When he when he actually won, it's, I think when he won the world title, we've seen him the day, the evening yeah. of the or the day after. Um, I mean, going back to no, I like Callum Smith. Yeah. I think he's fantastic, but I think I don't see him beating better BF. Although, if he doesn't get star shy like he did against Canelo, like because um, he's a little bit of rabbit in the headlights, thinking this guy's you know glory is blinding me, <laughs> I, I think. He can give him a hell of a fight, and he's got a good chance in that fight. Well, that's because Benavida we, uh, better be is getting older, and that is one to stay tuned for because that is going to be a really good um, podcast that we're we're going to talk about. There, well, that's, we like both of them, so yeah. that should be a good <laughs> and a good one to look forward to. We'll and we are looking lit. forward to that fight. Yeah, uh, um, that we could have a few arguments over that one. We, uh, yeah, I think there'll be heated. arguments. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But uh, Charlo, sorry, uh, go going back to Charlo. He can go back down to his weight division and rule it a bit more until he accepts. Well, I think it's like you said. We haven't Crawford even mentioned fight. who he'd fight or do we care? Not really. <laughs> Crawford, <laughs> Crawford fighting him, yeah, but we only because of Crawford. The thing is, is because of, if but he has got a huge size advantage there. I mean, Canelo. But if he'd, but around, if he'd but, put up a good performance, 
even if he got beat, if he did put up a good performance, you'd say, yeah, go for Crawford. But the fact the fight still mattered for Crawford because it's middleweight champ. You know, uh, was it like middleweight champion? Well, he's probably looking at it and thinking, I can win this fight. Yeah, and it's another weight division for Crawford. Other and and that, in one step, and but but like now, um, I'm thinking more. It'd be probably be better to see Spence and Charlo than him against. Yeah, them, but, and but I think, but I think Crawford needs it for that. I'm a four weight, five weight world champion. Um, well, undisputed in another category. Where, I think he needs where, to grab him. Where else he goes does Crawford south. go? No, he, yeah. he, he doesn't go anywhere. He, unfortunately, as 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 fantastic as he is, he's in that now of who do I fight next? Um, to really cement. Well, I think Charlo's because, done him because if Charlo put a good performance in that fight, yeah. water, and now, now most people are going to err towards Crawford and it's a bit less. It won't sell so much because of Charlo, yeah. it's more because of Crawford. But you're right, where does he go? Because that's the next division. He's got to go there, really. Yeah. Because and it's he's probably better up. to go in there and then go forward and let then Spence yeah. and them have out, then let him I mean, to fight out for it. Going to clean up that division, try and get the Canelo fight. If not, you know, he's 35, 36. He's that red. I don't want to see him. Go and fight some young up and comer and get beat. No, he deserves. He the, deserves to go out in yeah. like his glory. When, well, I think if, he, if he, I think he's got two big massive is that fights his left last in last fight. If he fights them, because who who does he fight? Say say he fights Charlo and wins, so he's undisputed. That who does he fight next? The only one. There's no point fighting Spence again. No, really. the only one is Canelo. Yeah, then that's next. And well, it's not the next division because then it's his bro. Does he fight both the Charlos and who, who's the other guy in there? I mean, Canelo could go down to middleweight. I think he said he's not going to fight any lower than his weight, though. Mm. 168 years, and he, I think he's, I'm sure he said before he's not going to Crawford's down to too small a frame to go up to super middleweight, to be fair. Yeah. Um, the thing is, is you've got. It's, I think it's too big a jump to go to Canelo, especially when the guy's know, got a chin. What's horrible, and I, I hate this this time, this time in, in boxing, is your likes of your. Canelo, better be have your Crawford. They ain't got long left. Enjoy them now because there's only three or four fights left in them and then it is the passing of the torches. Um, yeah. They might disagree with me for saying that, but I, I remember when it, we had that era of Carl Zaghi, Hatton, and, and you knew they were coming to the end of their career. And I, I hated it. Um, so you have to go and find your new favourite fighter and, and stuff like that. Um, and, what are you saying? <laughs> and I think that's where the likes of the, your Canelo's and your Crawford's, your Spence, they're coming to the end. Enjoy them now. Get as much money as you can, guys. Fight the biggest fights out there. Um, I don't want to see Crawford Spence again. I would like to see Crawford Canelo. I would. Oh, is this Tim Crawford? Canelo. Canelo. Yeah. I really would like to see but, it. Well, I think you'd have, it'd have to be like an end, but would it be for any belts? Because I don't think you're going to get to a weight. I don't think Canelo comes down and wait. And I don't think um, you'd Crawford have to gets do up it. to that weight. You'd have to do it as a catch weight, and it'd be four pound for pound king, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then... It only makes sense. Because yeah. Canelo's really got to come down, because you're 168, and he's 147. It's, it's a huge big, difference, 21 yeah. pounds. I mean... Do you know what, Crawford? Fair dues to you for saying you want it. Fair dues to you, because I wouldn't jump up that weight. Not not against somebody who's got a chin like Canelo. But you say, if, you know... If Golovkin couldn't get a mile today. See, we haven't even mentioned Glo Glo uh, Triple G. See, Triple G's middleweight, isn't he? 1160. That mm. could be the next step up. Well, there's, there's Tim Zhu, who you and we spoke about a bit before. Yeah. Then. Is it Costa Zhu's son? Yeah. yeah. I hope he's saying his name right. Um, he's a bit of a talent. I don't know where... Yeah, he is a bit of a talent. I know he's got his dad's name behind him, but he is a bit of a talent, this lad. But is it going to be too soon for him? Because I don't think he's established enough yet, is he? Because he's got a fight coming up as well, I think. The thing is, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's quite a big name outside the UK, though. Hmm. Um... Because he's currently the WBO, isn't it? So have they, they stripped him, Jamel Chalo, of the undisputed? I'd have stripped him after that performance. <laughs> he deserves it, to be honest. It's a bit nasty, like, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's> a bit... 
<laughs> wow. But if he takes yeah, if he takes Charlo out, then there's only him left to become undisputed. So there's two fights. And then maybe take a fight at middleweight. Middleweight, we've got one of the Alim Kanuli, isn't it? Who's fighting soon as well. There's his brother Jamal Charlo. There's uh, Erislanda Lara. Uh, Lara and Gatier. Well, Gatieri, uh, Galtieri and Alam Kanuli are fighting, aren't they? So that'll be one or other would yeah. should get with that unless they draw. So then you've got a unified champion. So then the next one of them, but they're not obviously as huge fights. So probably, yeah, Charlo is really his next one. Then Zhu, maybe if he's, um, if he holds one of the belts. But I think he's got a defense. If he's Crawford's defend still something. fighting this time next year, do you know what would be a massive fight? If Evan goes to plan. Connor Ben. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. If we can get that far, yeah. Um, if Connor Ben can get through all the suspensions and everything, Eddie, but Eddie Hearn throws that little bit of magic dust that he's got. Boom, let's have a bit of Connor Ben, Terence Crawford on the go. That'd be a good fight. That For could both. be a passing of the torch fight. That's yeah, how yeah. Eddie Hearn would sell it. Um, What's Connor Ben's weight? Is he? He's a welterweight, isn't he? This is a Crawford's weight division. Oh, but Crawford's going to go up, isn't it? That's the only thing with it. So maybe he'd have to go up as well. For $15 million? I'm sure Crawford is, can get in shape. Because <laughs> uh, let's be honest, that's what it's going to come down to, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it'll be pay packets. I think Canelo and him would be great, but it's a bit step too far. So it's whether he wants to co conquer the other divisions. I think middleweight, because you've only got one, well, two maybe fights, you could you could probably do that. Who's it like middleweight? So you've got Charlo at like middleweight? Charlo and then Tim Zhu. Charlo holds the, Jamel Charlo holds three of the belts and uh, Tim Zhu. And then in middleweight, there's his brother holds, uh, no, Bigger see, Charlo I, holds one, I, I WBC, think, Lan, Lara holds the WBA. I think Crawford. Galtieri and Halem Kaluni will combine. Yeah, I think, so you could have that fight. But I think like, Crawford goes up to light middleweight. Yeah. And he goes to that weight division because what's he done? He's got lightweight, light welterweight, welterweight, light middleweight. Did we see super featherweight as well? He's three or four we had in our video, didn't we? Worked yeah. out. He's got already. I mean, none of them will ever take Pacquiao's eight weight division, so. No, he's not. He doesn't need that. I think he needs that. It's just a closing fights to earn that. Although, thing. did I hear that Pacquiao was fighting? I haven't heard that. But you never know with him. I mean, he, he is too old now, but. Anyway, um. I just get excited when I hear Pacquiao. <laughs> I wish he'd be back I when his 30s again. <laughs> it'd destroy Crawford. Um, I'm not so sure of that, but yeah, it'd be a good a, fight. That's a conversation for another time. Yeah, that's a, um, of a if but maybe uh, episode. No, and like I say, Charlo, yeah. Um, I think Charlo needs a Crawford fight now, though. To build his reputation. Yeah. I think that's the only obvious fight, Crawford, because yeah. you can only go up. There's no point going down. All them lot are going to fight amongst themselves. I think there's enough there because Haney's going up, isn't it? Then Lopez's division, Pro Gray. Um, He's not going to want to touch them, though, I don't think. I don't think any of them you, are big enough to no, be with him. No, and you, they're going to have fights. The got, only one, if, if, if um, um, Lomachenko was there in Lightweight, but Lightweight's still too far no, down. He, he's not going to go get no, up to junior welterweight. They've to got welterweight. their own little bubble that they can all fight yeah, each Shaka other in. Stevens is which is, it? So we'll is, or Tank or whoever yeah, will do. They've got great fights amongst themselves, which they can so sort So I think it's out. Charlo and Zhu, if that fights, if they win, they keep hold of them. Unified, uh, under, get under, unified and then undisputed. And then who's you, the who's you fighting next? Good point. Let's have a look. It's on my list. I and did. Mendoza. See if you wins that, because it, it's on the same. Uh, they're on like the same weekend, isn't it? Because I think that's in Australia. And there's Alam Canuli versus Galtieri, isn't it? Which is the uh, the, the uh, thing above the middleweight one. Mm, 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 mm. So I think it's those two fights. If he wins that and he keeps it, then he's proper WBA champion. Then you've got the other Charlo as the unified for the rest. You've got two fights there and then go up to middleweight. And then if whichever one's unified, you or see got together the, those. You see, Tim Zhu is the WBA junior middleweight champion. 
Mendoza is the WBC interim junior middleweight champion. This is mandatory. Well, yeah, that's why they're, so yeah. they're number one and number two contenders in WBO before the title, haven't they? So, let's... Tim Zhu wins. And then he fights Crawford in March. And then Crawford is the WBO junior middleweight champion and then fights Charlo for the undisputed. Yeah. There we go. Just planned it. Signed, sealed, delivered. Because Tim Zhu's a good fight. Yeah, yeah. I think that, that that makes those two fights. The only thing is Tim Zhu won't be as... Well, yeah, he might be. I don't know how big he is outside of here, how big the office draw is. But Crawford's going to draw. So for him, yeah. it's a huge fight. They should get... He'll, for him, it'll be good. A pack, whether it's big enough or whether Crawford goes the other way around. Because Charlo really needs a Crawford fight. So it may be that they do... He goes there first. Unless he tries to unify with Zhu, but then... You know, uh, not unify, undispute with you and then fight Crawford. I just think it's a good fight for for Crawford. That, but the problem then is it takes a fight out for Charlo uh, for Crawford. If they fight first, then he's lost his uh, second fight. It's just a win, and then go up to middleweight in it. Then he's only got the two fights. Yeah, we've gone off on meander, but yeah, I mean, if you look, I'm just looking at Tim Zhu's record. He beat Jeff Horn, won by TKO, Steve Spark. Well, I've only seen highlights. I haven't seen him fight, like yeah. a full fight, but I'm open Takashi to watching Takashi in a way, Terrell Gusher, Tony Housen, Carlos Ocampo. He's got Brian Mendoza next, which is a proper test. Denton Bissell. Should we? I mean... So if he gets through that, then I think it's got to be either... He'll, he'll want either Charlo or... If Crawford's coming up, isn't it? Yeah. Just trying to find out where. He is a big name, Tim Zhu. Well, his father's name's big, isn't it? So I was going to carry on that. And then they rate him. Yeah. Um, so I think if he comes up after that, he can come up and get fights. He will be a draw. Yeah. Um, yeah. So one of them too, I think, isn't it? it? Depends what they work out, isn't it? If they yeah. want to get back to undisputed or. But I think Charlo needs a Crawford now, really, to get back. Yeah, definitely. And I think that's the only way for him back. And then one of those. Okay. I think that's enough, isn't it? Anything else? There's nothing else on that one. No, not so on that one. We'll I think, uh, the, yeah, it, was, it was, wasn't the best fight in the world, but... I but it gave us a lot of options afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> so so a lot to that's, talk about that's good. Okay, thank you very much, people. And um, we'll, yeah, see, you we'll soon. see you in the next episode. Like, subscribe and comment, please, and give us your feedback on what you think. Uh, where we talking rubbish, where it makes sense, what do you think will happen? Take care. See you in the next Bye one. Bye now.